Gauteng Education Department has launched an investigation into JP Girls High. It follows reports the school was disciplining several Muslim pupils for wearing hijabs. The item of religious clothing is apparently in transgression of the school's code of conduct. Department Steve's, uh, department spokesperson rather, Steve Mabona joins us to, this, to discuss this issue. Steve, it seems that JP Girls High simply didn't comply with um, the directive from your department that these girls be allowed to wear the hijabs while the constitutionality of their code of contact is being addressed. Look, um, thanks very much. Well, it was very much uh, disappointing, you know, that we had a discussion with the school and the SGB in July when the process of uh, saying the, 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 the learners are in transgression with the code of conduct and we said to the school, you need to take in cognizance that anything that contravenes the constitution, then that cannot be tolerated. And so in principle, they did agree that they then need to go and amend the code of conduct uh, so that then they can you know, allow learners to continue to learn and wear you know, as much as, uh, as possible as they believe you know, to practice their religion because you know, the reason why we said we want to continue the process of amending the regulations, looking at the admissions, because you find learners that are discriminated against, you know, looking at your religion, race, ethnicity, and all those other things. Hence, there's a justification for us to make sure that in uh, all the schools, you know, you don't, you know, discriminate learners, you know, as per things that Steve, we don't feel that they're in your classroom. The legal counsel of, of these young girls uh, believes that um, there are certain individuals at the schools who are seeking specifically to harass these learners who are, who are wearing hijabs, even though they, they know that provisionally that, that, that amendment has been made for them to come to school in this way. I mean, this, this really speaks to the officials at the school. Have, have you been trying to identify who those officials may be and whether or not this is a deliberate harassment of these young girls? Look, uh, remember we were you know, aware of this incident on Friday, or we made aware on Friday, and the schools are in recess now. Mm -hmm. So our team will then be meeting with the school management, you know, when they come back from recess. And uh, we will have to make sure that we identify those, uh, you know, officials, interact with the lawyers that are representing these learners as well, parents, SGB, make sure that at least we find a way of assisting a school to amend the code of conduct. Because if the SGP says, the code of conduct says this cannot be done, then uh, we need to amend the code of conduct so that we don't uh, transgress you know, towards the, the, the constitutionality of-, of Given the fact that you're waiting for the school holidays um, uh, to, to come to an end before this issue is addressed, if, if, if I'm understanding you correctly, does that mean that when schools resume, these girls still face the risk of being further harassed and victimized for just being able to wear hijabs? Look, this is on our radar. It's quite an urgent matter. Uh, remember, they were supposed to be disciplined on Saturday, and uh, we managed to say uh, the school must stop that process. They've uh, postponed that uh, disciplinary process indefinitely, but we are sure that it's not going to come back because, you know, when they come back, uh, we will then be going to the school and make sure that we facilitate the process of amending that code of uh, conduct so that learners can uh, continue without them being harassed. But learners, they will still continue to be allowed at the school while we are finalizing the process of making sure that the code of conduct is amended. But we, we told them that, look, this cannot be tolerated where learners are going to be harassed because they practice a, a religion. You know that constitutionally, the, a school is uh, not allowed to promote one uh, you know, religion, but anyone who wants to practice religion is welcome to do so in, in our school. But Of course, the, the big indictment is that the Code of Conduct itself is unconstitutional and unlawful. Does the Department of Education hold that view? Do you share that view? Definitely. That's why we entered into that space. That's why we went to the school and said, look, this cannot be allowed. Uh, you need to amend the, 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 the Code of Conduct. And uh, 
what our priority is to make sure that the code of conduct is amended so that SGB does not have a leg to stand on. But you know that the code of conduct is being crafted by the parent body. So parents, they need to participate in this process to say, look, we cannot allow such a situation to continue. So we encourage parents to participate and make sure that they amend this code of conduct. But we're not going to allow it to continue in this fashion. All right. Steve Mabona, he is with the Gauteng Education Department.